Hey everyone, it's been a while since I uploaded my video. Uh, it was because I was working on Active Ragdoll. For those who don't know what Active Ragdoll is, it's basically a character or a puppet in game that is physically interactable. So before I was using animation for enemy movement and I wanted to change to an Active Ragdoll because with animation driven characters, you can't really have physical interactions with it because the movement is fixed to the animation even though if I even if I touch it it will not respond to the virtual hand and that would break the immersive experience in VR which is everything so at first I was looking for tutorials on how to make an active ragdoll to see how it's all done but I was so surprised how little the information was shared Maybe I'm bad at Googling, I don't know, but thankfully I came across these three methods. The first one is using static animation and making the ragdoll copy the target rotation of the animation character. It's a good method because you can actually make, you can, you can actually use an already made animation and have physical interactions with it. But it didn't work out for me, so uh, I was so disappointed with the result, but thankfully I found this guy called MetalCore999 uh, on, on YouTube who was developing a game using Active Ragdoll. His art and game, it, it looks freaking amazing. I, I just hope that he releases his game in the VR. So that was the second method. He was using Center of Mass to check the balance and move the legs with joints. So I went with that second method. Although it was really hard to move how I really wanted to move, but it looked way better than the first method. And the third method was it was just real active ragdoll. There were there were methods using machine learning, deep learning, but I and I saw this paper with like tons of math mathematical functions and I just couldn't understand any of it. So these are the three methods and I'll show you the result. So this is the test scene and oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is, this is an inventory system. This is what my friend was working on. And we we thought this would be um, great for VR inventory system. Because you know how usually there's this, in normal games, there's this UI and you have to select. And I saw, I, I've seen these games with, with a UI and there's like a socket to it so you can actually attach stuff. But I... I personally think that kind of breaks the immersiveness. So um, we thought um, like having an actual interaction with the inventory would be, you know, it would be better. So you can actually put stuff in the inventory. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you can select it, grab it out, and put it back in, which is, I think it's really cool. Um, so this is the active ragdoll that I was working on, and if I touch him, he will physically interact. I can grab his hand. <laughs> We can't shake hands, but yeah, I can grab his hand and yeah, I think it, this in like in VR, physic, if, if you can't physically interact with the stuff that's around you, I think it kind of breaks it, the whole point. Yeah, so, so I was working on this and so I was working on the balancing part which was which was pretty 
hard, but it's not perfect, but yeah, anyways, I'll show you. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. Uh. Okay, he, what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> he, he used to walk better than this, but um, yeah, he can walk. If I push him like forward from the back, he moves forward. If I push him from the front, then okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he would he would try to balance himself. And if I push him from the side, yeah, he would do that. From this side, yeah. I know it's kind of like it's it's springy. I didn't like how I tried to get rid of the springiness, but yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Anyways, so so actually, I can hit the enemy, and I'll try to hit the. Hit the block. Where's my camera? Um, okay, I'll try to hit hit that part. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> that wasn't. That was bad. Um, let me just bring another guy. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? No! Don't, don't, don't show that in front of the camera. Don't. Oh my god! Is it too far away? Okay. I'll hit the big one. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I just hit something. Uh, um, did I break something? Okay. Um, yeah. Always be careful when you're playing VR stuff. Okay. Okay. This. If I can't do this, I have a problem. Right. Okay, that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I need to work on my aim.